Dakota Kiriachuk, 21 years old, IT whiz. Got a software glitch? She would love to find it. Jay Serdula, 41 years old, math master. He won't stop until it all adds up. Both are looking for work in the tech field. Both have an unexpected edge, and you'll never guess what it is. They have the autism advantage. I'm actually very fast. I take whatever time it needs. Jay and Dakota have autism and now, for the first time, are ready to work it. They've been tested on everything from their focus, their visual memory, even their shopping skills. It's all part of a Canadian first to turn marginal into marketable. They're very gifted, very bright. People with autism don't have those particular uh, distractions. You too. Garth Johnson is an IT entrepreneur who now runs Meticulon, a new consulting firm in Calgary actively recruiting people like Jay and Dakota. He's pitching his people not despite their autism, but precisely because of it. We are selling their autism. Take us for a month. If our people don't perform and don't do what we say we're going to do, we'll pay them their salary for a month. You pay us nothing. You're that confident? Yes, absolutely. Make no mistake, this is not charity. It's all about the bottom line. Not everyone with autism can do this, but there are, on the spectrum, there are people who are very gifted in these areas. Take a look at Jay and Dakota, at their intense focus, comfort with repetition, memory for detail, traits of autism that also happen to be the kind of specialized skills in demand in today's tech-based economy, the kind of work that would drive most of us batty. Not Dakota. She lights up. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's like a puzzle. It's fun. Seeing, making them all fit and seeing it, it afterwards, seeing it all completed. And you take all these, the, all the data, and then you stick it, and it's, and it's fit. <laughs> Everything still there. All the variables. I love it. In this test, Dakota happily spends hours cataloging CDs. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But bring up that dreaded workplace gathering spot, the water cooler, and she starts wringing her hands at the thought of having to make even the smallest of small talk. So your ideal job would be very little social interaction? Oh well, yeah, literally like the computer. <laughs> and then there's Jay. He has a master's degree in mathematics. At his old job, he wrote C code to analyze data and study defective fuel rods in nuclear reactors. I know, we don't get it either. He can analyze nuclear rods, but a simple everyday greeting, now that stumps him. So that's like the dreaded question for you. Somebody coming up to you saying, hey, Jay, how are you? That's correct, yes. Because that makes you feel anxious? Well, puts me on the spot, like I don't know how to answer the question. And also Jay's solution? Simple, yet super smart. A t-shirt with a message, albeit a very long message, that he can, of course, recite verbatim. Do not ask how are you unless A, you really want to know the answer, and B, you can spare at least 30 minutes to listen to the answer. Email address is fine. So, yes. not so good at social skills, and that's the problem. You can't ask them to sell themselves. And that's often why a staggering 85% of people with autism are unemployed. In a job interview, if I was to ask you, tell me why I should hire you over the other candidates, you know that I'm asking you to sell yourself. Some of our people would respond by saying, that's not a fair question. I don't know who the other candidates are. How can I possibly answer that? No, nope, someone needs to get in the back. So what does Meticulon do with a pair of talented social misfits? As strange as it sounds, squeeze them into a car and head to the grocery store. Today's assignment, find a recipe, set a budget, buy ingredients to make a soup. Sounds easy enough. The catch, they have to do it together. How many pounds is that one? It should say, that's one pound. In other words, cooperate, compromise, a tough task when you have autism. We could get something else that's similar to spaghetti too. Then you get more bang for your buck and if then you we buy don't have this to, kind But we don't need more We bang. don't need that This much, is it though. double, Jay. We don't need that, Jay. Yeah. Once they get past the pickiness in the pasta aisle, that little moment and everything that follows is tracked closely. Should I open some of these cans? Uh, sure. 
Lauren McGinnis and Joy Hewitt are job coaches who are judging Meticulous first recruits. They've put them through almost 50 tests to figure out what support they might need in the real world. But what the heck does making soup have to do with it? Joy says a lot. We were amazed at how much that we found out, again, with um, whether they work well together as a team, who's the leader, and then that gives us an idea of how, how they might need more support in the workplace as well. It's all about creating what Meticulon calls a mind map to share mm -hmm. with potential employers, to give them a glimpse into the autistic brain, the quirks and the brilliance. Garth is still amazed at how quickly they breeze through a grueling IQ test. When I did it, the, the one test has 74 questions. I got to question 16 and went, I can't do anymore. And how far along do they get? I'll finish. And they finished it they in, finish. and in they less finish. time than the average yes. person. Yeah, because of that ability to focus. That so ability like to focus anything. does have a downside. Yeah, Case in point, when Jay does want to engage, he cracks a joke or two or three. What kind of fruit is never lonely? What do you call a cat that fell into a jug of lemonade? Two parrots were sitting on a perch. <laughs> How many jokes do you think you know? About 3,000. He's not trying to be a wise guy. That's how he does small talk. Or do you have a favorite? A little peculiar, and maybe even a little off-putting. Something an employer would have to understand. When the man picks up the two suitcases, hands them to him and says, Sir, don't forget the batteries. <laughs> that's a good one. So we need that feedback loop. But that's where Garth and his team come in. They're convinced Jay can be coached to tone down the jokes and deliver much more than a punchline. Garth has done the research and he knows the return on disability is huge. So the benefit to the business is, is they get a very appointment who will stay, who will be very diligent, very honest, um, very accurate and very precise. It's a big selling point that Garth is taking on the road. Companies in Europe and the U.S. are already matching autistic adults to high-paying, specialized tech jobs. But this is still new ground to cover in Canada. Several companies in Calgary are intrigued, but no one's committed just yet. On this day, Garth and IT specialist Michael D'Souza are pitching to a credit union based outside of the city. Most of them stated, my dream job will be a job where somebody gave me a lot of clarity. You know, told me exactly what I needed to do. What would it look like, in, in, you know, if, if there is, say, a wrench thrown into the process or uh, uh, something that's maybe too much of a change or too different? And how, how, did, how did, what, does it, what does that look like? Well, I guess it would depend on how spontaneous that, that had to be. You know, if it was something that was, we knew, you knew was coming up and you knew it was going to be a change, a job coach would help you communicate how that change would happen and how that could be accommodated. Scott Haddon is the chief operating officer at Chinook Credit Union. He sees the potential. From a business standpoint, yeah, I, I, you know, we've kind of switched from this is the right thing for us to be doing to, yeah, we have a need for this type of individual. Uh, our company can benefit from having these individuals on our team. How do you think it would make you feel to get a job and well, to get a well-paying job? I'd be elated. Just a job in general, but if it's well-paying, that's just like a bonus. I would have to just be cheering. And Jay? He's not kidding when he says all he's asking for is a job where people say hi instead of how are you. It takes time to get to know me, but I believe any relationship can work if both people, both sides of the, are willing to make small but significant changes. The key is knowing which small changes are significant. It's actually uh, blown my mind. Now the that the three-week assessment is over, Garth is confident Jay and Dakota will be working soon. You don't have to wear these at work. It's not. And like he's it's convinced he will find jobs for at least 50 more autistic adults in the next five years. Just for you, if not Deliberately like, small, not right, realistic like, goals. The expectations, way bigger. Ultimately, it's the Jays and Dakotas and others of the world that will make this business work, and will give us value. And so really this is about them. They're the ones who are going to break down these barriers. They're the ones who are going to change society's mind, not me. He's done very well, so congratulations. Starting well with done. two people you won't find anywhere near the water cooler. Oh, thank you. Good job, Dakota. And who will no doubt get the job done. Ioana Vermiliotis, CBC News, Calgary.